634 right now. May is Skin Cancer Awareness Month, and if you've never had it, there is a chance that you might. It's, an est it's estimated that one in five Americans will develop skin cancer by the time they turn 70 years old. So that's why prevention and early detection are so, so important. To learn more, I recently caught up with Dr. Glennis Ablon of the Ablon Skin and Research Institute. Dr. Avalon, thank you so much for joining us today. We're going to get right to it. Let's start with prevention. It's all about forming good habits. Walk us through your four top tips. I love the hat. I've got the hat. I've got the glasses. Of course, this is tip number one, large brim hat. Large glasses really do protect your skin. Always avoid those high UV index times, which are 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. And then I think it's really important to understand you've got to wear sunscreen. I am inside, and before I left, I put my revision on. There are great over-the-counter sunscreens, at least an SPF of 30. And then I didn't want to give you just the usual tips. I want to tell you something new. So oral sunscreen is something that I mention to my patients, especially ones with a high risk of skin cancer. And that's called HelioCare. And it is basically a simple dietary supplement. And it's mm -hmm. made with polypodium leucotomus, which is a natural fern. And it is packed with antioxidants. It protects your skin from free radicals that can cause wrinkles, discoloration, skin cancer, and of course, environmental aging. And it's over the counter. That's awesome. So before you even go out into the sun, you're thinking about it. Okay, so we're also learning that nutrition plays an important role in preventing skin cancer. What should we be eating during these warm, sunny months? You know, it's really interesting. I always say you are what you eat. And I think the idea is that there are substances that have antioxidants that include vitamins and nutrients that really can help fight off the free radicals and prevent damage that cause skin cancer. So my top five, here are my top five. And again, think about nutrition. The first one is lycopene, and that's the same red pigment that is found in the tomato. It actually helps protect the tomato. It will help your skin against sun damage. And lycopene um, eaters were basically 40% less likely to get sunburned. And so this red antioxidant is found in tomatoes, watermelon, guava, papaya, apricots. And then the second one is omega-3 fatty acids. And these nutrients inhibit a chemical that promotes skin cancer progression and it's thought to reduce inflammation. So several cancers, including skin cancer, have been strongly linked to chronic inflammation. So fatty fish is a great one that really does help. Uh, that's a good source of the omegas. I love cod liver oil. I give it to my kids, and it tastes like salad dressing now, so it's not too bad. And, right. of course, walnuts and flaxseed are a great al vegetarian alternative. Before we run the out of time, I really, oh, yeah. I, I see that. I see the green and black tea. But before we run out of time, yes. I think it's so important yes. to talk about paying attention to changes on your skin. Uh, can you talk yeah. about the ABCs of melanoma? Of course. Remember again that skin changes. And so I always say, get your birthday suit checked on your birthday. So we have this mnemonic, which is basically the ABCDEs of melanoma. We are looking for things that are asymmetrical, things that do not have an even border, that the border is very irregular, that the color is multiple colors, especially a black or dark color. Multiple colors are concerning. And then we say the diameter over six millimeters, but I'll tell you, I found melanomas that were two millimeters in size. Mm -hmm. And then of course, evolution, which just means the progress of a mole. Is it changing? Is it causing pain? Are you having discomfort with it? Anything that's really changing. So I say, once a year, get checked your birthday suit on your birthday, but also remember, if something's changing and it isn't healing and you're worried, get it checked sooner by a board-certified dermatologist. Such important advice. Put that hat back on. Put your shades back on. <laughs> Dr. Avalon on. With, perfect, with the Avalon Skin and Research Institute. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. You look great. Sounds good. Thank you.